It's your boy, Duncan Plays here, coming to you with another video. So today, we're going to be doing 10 things you didn't know about your Xbox One. And this could be for Xbox One S only, but lots of people have told me these features are available on Xbox One also. Okay, I of course am using the Xbox One S early released version. I got it a while back, like a really long time back when the commercial just came out. On st so what it is, is well, it's an Xbox One, of course. It has some different features, like it's a lot small. Oh my god, it's a lot smaller. It has this air ventilation cooler, which makes it have a lot less of a chance of overheating, because it's smaller, of course. And then, you have some... USBs in the back. You have two USBs. Let me see. Let me zoom in. So you have two USBs. You have two HD drives. So you can connect other consoles to that one. I don't know why you do that, but so let's get into the ten things you didn't know. Did you know? That, I mean, okay. Number one, were you ever that guy that really wanted a 360 game and you didn't know that backwards compatibility existed on the Xbox One? Well, now it does. You could play a lot of fun Xbox 360 games like Red Dead Redemption. Let me start putting some of my games and stuff away. You could play GT Grand Theft Auto 4 and more. And did you know, for number two, did you know that the Xbox One S is smaller than any other console of this price under the name of Xbox? It may be $300. It may be early release, so it cost me 500 But... This Xbox One S has a lot of updates better than the Xbox One. Number three. Did you know that you could actually take music CDs on your Xbox One and you just put them in? I'm going to use Bon Jovi. You just insert it. takes it in. And then that will come up on screen. It will say it's reading it. And then it will be right there for you to listen to. And this time it actually read the songs. So as you can see, Bon Jovi Greatest Hits. So next up, did you know that the Xbox One S has all new Things like an extra USB port. It has an extra testing system when you could push it to see if it's working. And then the, this button here will flash. And did you know that you could also use the USB ports to app, like put other games and stuff onto USB drives? from your Xbox One, that would be number five. Number six, did you know that your Xbox One S has higher quality, a lot higher quality graphics than your normal Xbox One? And did you know that it has less chance of overheating? That's number six. Do you know that your Xbox One could have backwards old classic titles? Like, I'm going to find one. I don't know why this is taken off. But, like, a t 
Atari flashbacks. I'm sorry about the lighting. Working for your Xbox One version. All new for free. Did you know that your Xbox One games have setup has changed from earlier console versions? I will give an example. So we have Titanfall 2, and then we have Xbox 360. The games are on the left side. I mean the right side, and the information stuff is on the left. But with the Xbox One, it's the opposite. The covers and manuals are on the right, and on the left is the game disc. Number eight. Did you know that your Xbox One could install previously owned 360 backwards compatible games that you already own, so you won't have to buy them again? All you have to do is go to Xbox 360 in the game section if you're signed under an Xbox 360 username. You could play Red Dead Redemption. Maybe, I don't know about this, but maybe even all the games you had on Xbox 360 on the one. Yeah. Did you know that you could now... Re change your recording time and all that stuff by the push of a button you just have to go to settings and you could simply make it have say like up to 15 minutes 30 minutes 10 minutes you could record old time you could just record 10 second game clips as many time as you want number th 10 did you know that you could broadcast on Mixer? Yes, you could broadcast to YouTube. It's basically Twitch, but without a Twitch account. That's right, guys. And that was the video, guys. If you want some new series, post it in the comments. I will display right now the videos we could do for all new series. First up, we're having five. Titanfall 2. This game's really cool. I love the PvP in it and stuff like that. Let me open my blinds so you guys could see better. Oh, I'm blinded by the light. I think the quality is much better now. So, next up on the list, after Titanfall 2, not Red Dead Redemption because I've completed that game sadly. Not possibly GTA 4. I'm pretty much completed all the way though. Not Forza. I've completed that. Season Pass disc. Minecraft Story Mode. That I would be more than happy to. Minecraft will be included with that one too. Need for Speed Rivals. This game, I don't have all the cars. I haven't completed all the missions. I don't have all the liveries or anything like that. So, definitely a chance for that. Star Wars Battlefront Deluxe Edition. This game, I love playing. This is one of my favorite games of all time. And then for the final one. Battleborn, honestly, guys. It's more than likely for me to give this in a giveaway. I don't really want it. So that's a possibility. Um.
Xbox Live codes. This has any money on them, guys. I'll just pause the video right now. If they have any money on them. A shout for being sub to me. Here's another part of my Bon Jovi disc collection. This is some other ones. Disc 2, Lost Highway. Okay. The final game. I'm going to let you guys pick out of all of these games. That's right. There's like 10 games. I'm not very good at modding. So, I'm just I'm going to tell the truth. I really suck at that game. I really do. So, these are the choices. And possibly Atari flashbacks if we want to do like a throwback Friday. A super hit Sunday, something like that. So, Battleborn, Terria, W W W E two K fifteen, Farming Simulator seventeen, Batman Beyond Gotham. And Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. Those are the choices, guys. I'll quickly run through the top four that we're going to be playing. Star Wars Battlefront Deluxe Edition. Take a tail games. By the way, guys, these are all ones that you guys could choose from. The top three votes that we will get. We will be playing Titanfall 2. I will pick one, which will be Titanfall 2 in Star Wars Battlefront. Those will be two that I'm going to try to get a series on. Those will all be together so you guys don't have to vote. And then it's just these ones, these ones, and that one. And possibly that one. Peace out, guys. Remember to like and subscribe for more!